the recently redesigned GMC Canyon was undoubtedly a true showstopper. Incredible comfort levels, fantastic interior quality, and solid performance made it easily one of the most desirable mid-sized pickup trucks on the market. However, as impressive as it is, the Canyon is not without its faults, some of which might be deal-breaking for you. So let us now assess both ends of the spectrum and expose the 2024 GMC Canyon's biggest pros and cons. Starting with the good stuff. Number 4. A Peppy Yet Economical Powertrain The previous generation of the GMC Canyon has been quite limited, and to be frank, quite underwhelming in terms of powertrain options. Most of the engines were either massively underpowered or, if not, were just way too gas-guzzling for what they offered. Well, thankfully, the new generation of the GMC Canyon drops the unnecessary ballast by offering a single power plant, which is GM's all-new 2.7-liter turbocharged four-cylinder. This all-new engine, which pushes out a whopping 310 horsepower and a monstrous 430 pound-feet of torque, makes it one of the greatest engines that a mid-sized pickup truck has to offer. As a result, the GMC Canyon will be able to tow up to an unbelievable 7,700 pounds, more than what any other mid-sized pickup truck has to offer. Plus, despite being such a capable unit, it'll still be cheap to run, as it'll return up to 23 miles to the gallon. And you know what's the biggest kicker? The fact that this powerhouse of an engine comes as standard on all GMC models. However, as impressive as the engine is, what leaves us even more impressed is the next thing on our list. Number 3. A Fabulously High Quality Interior We're honestly completely flabbergasted at how amazing the interior of the canyon is. Everything about it left us in complete awe. First of all, the design of the interior is undoubtedly the best in its class. Everything feels so modern and so technologically advanced, without feeling tacky at all. We love the fact that the infotainment screen and the digital gauge cluster aren't part of the same flush panel. This both gives the interior additional dimension, as well as making it quite a bit sharper and sportier. Furthermore, we adore the ruggedly sharp no-nonsense dashboard, which perfectly encapsulates the canyon's character. We're also very much content that GMC decided to keep the climate controls, as well as the majority of essential other controls bound to physical dials and buttons. But what amazed us the most is by far how incredibly well-built the cabin is. The GMC Canyon honestly feels like a Ram 1500 from the inside, which is, in our opinion, the biggest compliment that any truck can receive, let alone a mid-sized one. Everything is covered in leather, soft-touch plastics, and aluminum, and the general feeling on the inside just oozes luxury. But the best thing about the interior is those gorgeous quilted leather seats. They just make the car feel so classy and sophisticated, which is simply unbelievable for a vehicle of this type. It's almost uncanny to think that the Canyon itself is in the same class as the Toyota Tacoma and the Jeep Gladiator, as it feels light years ahead of them in every possible way. But a borderline luxurious interior seldom goes hand-to-hand -hand with mud running and off-roading. Or does it? Number 2. Unrivaled Off-Road Performance well, believe it or not, the GMC Canyon is not only serviceable off-road, but it's also at the top of the class in this regard. GM has focused its attention on making the Canyon an all-occasion, all-terrain vehicle. And to be perfectly honest, they've nailed it. The GMC Canyon is an astonishing off-roader no matter the trim level, as even the base model is elevation or the road-oriented Denali have a monster truck-like ground clearance. Not to mention that you'll be getting high-profile off-road-ready tires on all canyons, which only further amplifies how much faith GMC has for the canyon. To be quite honest, either of the two trim levels is good enough to beat out the competition. However, the GMC Canyon goes one step further and offers properly off-road-oriented models. These are the less expensive AT4 and, of course, the legendary AT4X. The AT4X has been renowned for its incredible off-road performance and its capability to overcome any terrain or obstacle that has been thrown at it. But as of the 2024 model, the AT4X can be fitted with the optional AEV Edition package, which further stiffens and raises the suspension, 
and completely replaces the bumpers and skirts for even stronger and more rugged ones, and turns the already class-leading AT4X into a true Halo Warthog. Oh, and if you're worried about on-road performance, don't be. Number 1. Impeccable Ride Quality We honestly cannot fathom how GMC managed to make a car that's just so well-rounded as the Canyon. Honestly, even if the Canyon was a bit stiffer, like the Toyota Tacoma, we wouldn't fault it because of its extremely hardcore off-road DNA. However, the fact that a vehicle that is as tall and as off-road oriented as a Canyon manages to be so smooth and enjoyable on the road leaves us in total shock. First of all, the suspension itself, while a bit firmer than, say, a Jeep Gladiator, grants the Canyon a truly enjoyable driving experience. You feel connected to the road when driving a Canyon, and especially thanks to the Torquey 2.7 engine, driving around will always be fun. That said, despite it being firmer than usual, the Canyon isn't an uncomfortable car, as it still manages to beat the Tacoma and the Nissan Frontier in terms of sheer comfort. Furthermore, what makes the car even more comfortable is its incredibly well-insulated interior, as well as the aforementioned seats, which offer a good amount of support while also being very soft. Overall, the on-road performance of the Canyon is a truly fantastic blend of comfort and sportiness, which is why we cannot recommend it enough if you love driving. However, despite the spectacular list of things that Canyon does right, it also has its fair share of glaringly big shortcomings. So let's check them out. Number 3. Lack of a Properly Performance-Oriented Power Plant Unit what disappointed us about the GMC Canyon is the fact that there is no performance-oriented engine on offer. Sure, sure, the 2.7 is a phenomenal unit when it comes to daily driving, and its specs are also extremely good. However, we'd love to see something that would be wicked fast. Something that can properly compete with the all-new and terrifyingly rapid Ford Ranger Raptor. That car has a 3.0 V6 at the front with two turbochargers which grants it a complete jaw-dropping 410 horsepower, making it by far the strongest production-made mid-size pickup truck. Let's be honest, as good as the Canyon's engine is, it simply cannot compete with the Raptor, and as good as the suspension of the Canyon is, it's still no match for the gruesomely sporty underpinnings of the Ranger Raptor. Granted, a performance-oriented pickup truck isn't exactly a top seller, and most of us aren't exactly looking for one. What we're looking for is an affordable, dependable, and practical vehicle, which leads us to the next big problem the Canyon is faced with. Number 2. The Chevrolet Colorado Exists Unfortunately for the GMC Canyon, its biggest competition is, actually, its sibling, the Chevrolet Colorado. Both of these cars sit on the same platform and, well, share a vast majority of parts. This includes the phenomenal engine, ride height, drivetrains, frame, and even a solid portion of the bodywork and chassis. Not to mention that, apart from the 310 horsepower, the Colorado also offers a weaker yet more economical turbocharger 4 engine that's also considerably cheaper than the one we've previously mentioned. Now granted, the Canyon is far better built in terms of interior quality. However, because of this, it's also a fair bit more expensive, which brings us to the final point of the video. And that is number one. The Canyon is simply way too expensive for a regular buyer. The price tag of the GMC Canyon is simply unavoidable, especially when compared to the Colorado. The cheapest Canyon, which is an RWD elevation model, costs upwards of $37,500, which is over $6,000 more than its Chevy siblings' entry level models. Granted, you won't be getting the same level of kit. However, a $37,000 Colorado will far outmatch the entry-level Canyon, not to mention that you'll be limited to RWD, as 4WD is a $3,000 optional extra. This makes the entry-level model quite redundant, meaning that you're going to have to either go for an AT4, a Denali, or the AT4X. When it comes down to the AT4, it's safe to say that you'll be getting the most for your money with it for $44,595, which is what you'll be paying for it, you'll get four-wheel drive as standard, off-road ready tires and suspension, and an expanded number of features, and for the money, you'll honestly be getting quite a lot of car. 
However, you won't have reached the canyon's pinnacle, and most of its selling points, such as a truly luxurious interior, will be reserved for the Denali. With it, you'll be getting the leather interior, quilted seats, high-quality plastics, and whatnot, which might sound tempting. However, since it starts from a little more than $52,000, it might be hard to swallow for some. But what's even harder to swallow is the AT4X, as it starts from $55,000. Sure, you'll be getting an incredibly potent off-roader. However, you'll rarely see the benefits of that, especially when you have the AT4 available for $10,000 less. Still, if you need an off-roader truck, you'll hardly find a better proposition than the AT4X. Just, for the love of God, don't fit it with the AEV Edition package, as the $10,000 premium it demands is just not worth it.